The journey to Saturn the journey begins September 5, 1977. Cape Canaveral held its breath. The world leaned closer, hearts racing in unison. The countdown thundered into the night sky, each number echoing across oceans and continents. A drumbeat of destiny, pulling the impossible ever nearer. Then, silence. A silence so deep it seemed the air itself dared not move. And suddenly, a thunderous roar shattered the stillness. The Titan Centaur rocket awakened, its engines igniting with unimaginable fury. A storm of fire and sound tore the heavens apart. Flames devoured the darkness, turning night into day in an instant. Light clawed skyward, ripping through clouds, casting long shadows across the trembling earth. The ground shook beneath its force. The ocean shivered, waves catching fire in reflection. Inside that inferno, Voyager 1. A spacecraft no larger than a small car, yet carrying humanity's greatest dream. To leave the safety of Earth, to escape the relentless pull of the sun, to sail into the infinite ocean of stars. Fragile wires, threaded like veins. Circuits no thicker than a strand of hair. Panels stretched outward, delicate as glass wings. A vessel so vulnerable, yet overflowing with human imagination. Born from human hands. Guided by human minds. Destined for worlds no eye had ever seen. From rooftops, families watched in awe. On beaches, strangers stood shoulder to shoulder, faces illuminated by the fiery ascent. Children pointed skyward, eyes wide, hearts racing. Millions gathered before glowing screens. Across continents, the world fell silent together. Few realized that a journey had begun that would outlive them all. Voyager 1 was not alone. Its twin, Voyager 2, had risen weeks earlier. Two siblings born of Earth. Two emissaries bound for eternity. Two messengers sent toward the same endless frontier. Their destinations, the giants of the solar system, Jupiter, Saturn. Lanterns that had shone in the night sky for millennia, once distant and unreachable, now within humanity's grasp for the very first time. A mission was charted, five years to survey the giants. Five years to collect their secrets. Five years to send their stories home, then drift silently into the black. But Voyager was not built merely to complete a mission. It was stubborn. It would not fade. It would endure. It would become something greater, a lasting symbol of human curiosity, courage, and resilience. Jupiter rose first. The mightiest of worlds. No longer a blur through telescopes, but a living, raging titan of storms and lightning. The Great Red Spot, a cyclone larger than Earth itself. A storm that had raged for centuries, relentless and unyielding. Clouds swirled in cream, rust, and crimson, layer upon layer, churning in chaotic harmony. Bolts of lightning arced across its skies, illuminating the swirling maelstrom with fierce brilliance. Eo revealed itself next. A world alive in fire. The most volcanic body in the solar system. Lava fountains erupted into the void, arching high before raining molten flame. Mountains of ash and fire scarred its surface, reshaping the world with every eruption. A moon of fire, orbiting a planet of storms. Europa whispered a different story. A frozen moon, fractured and scarred. Beneath its icy shell, an ocean slumbered, dark, deep, endless. A hidden sea, stirring the imagination of every scientist and dreamer. Could life exist there? Creatures swimming beneath the frozen veil, waiting, unseen, in the darkness. Then came Saturn, a planet draped in gold and mystery. Its rings stretched wide across the heavens, delicate bands of ice and stone, circling in silent, perfect grace. 
once thought solid, now revealed as billions of fragments, locked in a cosmic dance of elegance. Moons tugged at the reins, sculpting shapes and patterns, turning chaos into beauty. Silent artists carving masterpieces in the void. Saturn itself commanded reverence. Clouds gilded in sunlight. Storms raging without end. A planet elegant yet immense, a mystery woven in golden light. The five-year mission had already rewritten human understanding, Jupiter alive with storms. Io, fire incarnate. Europa, water and possibility. Saturn, art painted across the stars. Voyager was no longer just a spacecraft. It had become Earth's witness, our eyes, our ears, our voice, reaching into the infinite. Beyond Saturn and into the infinite after Saturn, Voyager pressed on, beyond the last familiar worlds. Into darkness no probe had ever crossed. Before leaving, it turned back. One last look at home. The sun, a pale ember in the black void. Six planets glimmered like scattered jewels. A family of worlds, captured in a single frame. A cosmic farewell to the cradle that had sent it forth. Then onward still. Past Uranus. Past Neptune. Toward the edge of the sun's reach. Toward the heliopause, the invisible boundary where solar winds fade and the galaxy itself begins. Interstellar space. Uncharted. Infinite. A realm no human eye had ever seen. Years bled into decades. Signals weakened, stretched thin. Each transmission became a whisper, each bit of data a fragile heartbeat across the abyss. Radiation pressed from all sides. Temperatures plunged toward absolute zero. Systems powered down, one by one, as energy was rationed with surgical precision. Yet Voyager endured. Its signal pulsed like a patient heart, faint, but unyielding. It refused silence. And then, at last, it crossed the heliopause. The first human creation to leave the sun's cradle. A true wanderer of the stars. But Voyager carried more than instruments. It carried memory. The golden record, a time capsule pressed into gold. Voices from every corner of Earth. Greetings in dozens of languages, ancient and modern. Songs spanning centuries, Bach, Beethoven, Chuck Berry. Images of mountains, rivers, forests. Cities alive with light and sound. Faces of children and elders. The laughter and breath of humanity itself. A message in a bottle, hurled into the infinite sea. The odds of discovery, almost none. And yet we sent it. Because hope defines us. Because we wanted the universe to know we were here. As it drifted farther, Voyager listened. Plasma waves hummed like cosmic music. Magnetic tides twisted unseen fields. Galactic winds swept across the void. The edge of the solar system was alive with mystery. Some whispered of dark matter lurking there. Others dreamed of new laws of physics. Some imagined distant eyes watching, silent in the black. Even as its power waned, Voyager lived on. A faint voice across the abyss. A fragile thread stretched back to Earth. Decades passed. Fifteen billion miles away, and still moving. Each signal took twenty-two hours to cross the gulf of space. A whisper stretched thin across time itself. Voyager had outlived its makers. It had defied every prediction. And still, it sailed onward. A lone traveler carrying the story of us all. One day, its voice will fade. The transmitter will fall silent. Its circuits will freeze. It will drift forever, a relic in the interstellar sea. 
And yet, even then, it will endure. The golden record will travel for billions of years. Perhaps found by other minds. Perhaps never discovered. But always there. Always waiting. A monument to curiosity. A spark of spirit. An eternal messenger of Earth. Voyager revealed new worlds. It traced the edge of the sun. It carried our name beyond the stars. More than a spacecraft, it became a beacon. A symbol. A testament to wonder. From a fragile blue world, we reached across the void. And Voyager carries that story still, sailing forever.